welcome back to another video. So I'm just so excited for this one because we're going to be reviewing the Huda Beauty Easy Bake setting powders. I did receive all the colours, kindly enough, just in time for my birthday. By the way, thank you so much for all your birthday wishes. I really love you guys so much, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be reviewing this. Can you hear the plane? She did come out with a special brush for it and she has 24688 shades which i'm actually really surprised about well to be honest she's got a good foundation range but to have so many shades in like a setting powder like that's so good i would guess it's mostly for baking but um she still nevertheless has a lot of shades and for me like if you're going to have a baking powder it has to kind of like disappear for example someone who's very pale doesn't have to use a banana shade because it, it kind of will give it like a yellow cast and someone who's got a really really deep shade can use some of the darker ones and not have a white cast under their eyes or you know wherever by using a lighter shade so everyone is really catered for and i feel like for baking powder eight shades is more than enough like i mean that's amazing you've got different tones yellowness shades i think it's amazing okay so here are all the powders this is the lightest one and i freaking love the names sugar cookie cupcake pound cake banana bread i love banana bread um, Blondie, Knafa, I think that's the coolest one, Cinnamon Bun and Coffee Cake. I am torn between Knafa, I think that's how you say it, and Blondie, but I think I'm definitely Blondie, but I will try both of them. Because Blondie is a bit lighter and I feel like this will be too yellow. But I might try Knafa around my mouth area, so yeah, we'll just try those two. She did also come out with a jaw ended brush and this one is a denser side and it actually fits really nicely under the rise to pack the powder on so I believe this is the side you're going to bake with and then you're going to dust everything off with the fluffy side and it feels so so soft. I feel like this is my first time actually touching one of her brushes because I haven't got her foundation brush. It's literally humongous and you get a ton of product in there from what I see um, but I'm just going to compare it to another one I have. Uh, you get... 20 grams in here and only 14 grams in the beauty bakery one but I just looked up my Kat Von D one which is one of my biggest setting powders and in that one you get 19 grams for 22 pounds and I've seen that these are 28 pounds each on cult beauty so I mean you're getting better value definitely with the Kat Von D one and that's the one I really love but I feel like I just need to try this to see if it's really worth the money it's definitely a high-end product but then so is Kat Von D but yeah I just have to try and see really if it is worth it because even if I didn't receive this I would have gone for these because you know first of all I'm a big fan of Huda Beauty products and um yeah I think that's the main reason and I have everything that she has so even before I was on her PR list I was buying every single thing and my family was buying them for me because they knew how much I love her and love her products so yeah um, I just have to try it and see really you know is it worth that £28 it has like a sifter and a, a net inside for you to you know to not pick up too much product um, oh, it does have a scent as well it smells like it kind of smells like the foundation a little bit. I've never experienced that before. That's so weird. I don't know how people are going to feel about that. Um, but to be honest, I've never had any issues with scent, scented things or anything like that. But maybe if you have sensitive skin, take that into consideration. You can go into Selfridges in London and maybe like try it on your skin and see how you react to it. Um, but oh my god, I'm just so excited to try this. So I've grabbed Blondie. The, the more I look at Blondie, I feel like I'm Blondie. <laughs> So you kind of twist the lid off and you have this and there's like a net in there. I don't know if you can see it. Put you closer. There's like a net in there. So it does say before you open it, tap the bottom bits to get some powder out. There's already some there, but if you run out of that, just tap the bottom bit. I'm just putting some primer quickly. I think it's fitting that I use the Huda Beauty um, Faux Filter Foundation. This one's in the shade Brown Sugar and I freaking love this foundation as you guys know. Get the nooks and crannies. I'm then going to put some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's a concealer I use all the time. 
Okay, so now for the exciting bit, I'm going to use Blondie. Here's a quick swatch of Blondie. That's typically what I usually go for in setting powders. So here's a comparison with Kanafa right here and Blondie right here. I think I could get away with both of them to be honest. And that's a comparison between Kanafa and Blondie. I mean, I could go with Kanafa actually. Let's try it. I think because I want more of that brightening effect, I'm going to go for Blondie. So I'm packing it on to my brush and she says to press it under the eyes. Yep, definitely has that scent. It's very thin. Like, I put a lot on that brush. Why do I feel like I should be going lighter? <laughs> Just for this video, I'm going to show you guys how Kanafa looks on me. It's definitely not as brightening as Blondie. But it seems that I really like the yellowness of it. This brush just fits perfectly under the eye. Hmm. I'm torn. Definitely for around my mouth, I'm going to put Kanafa. I'm going to try on a sponge on my nose. I'm tipping it into Blondie. I'm just going to... Uh, it does say to keep it on for three to five minutes on the back of the box on this thing it doesn't really give any instructions but it might give you instructions on the actual individual packaging of these powders it says it keeps makeup in place absorbs shine no flashback and enriched with vitamin e it says mattifying af 100 percent pore minimizing 70 percent radiance levels 40 percent so it has some radiance flashback level zero percent Easy to use, long wearing, locked in matte powders, total glow. So far from applying the powders, I feel like it's very smooth, very thin. The only thing I have to say is the scent is kind of overwhelming when you are kind of set, like baking. It goes up your nose and stuff. I mean, I don't know, if you're, sensi if you're sensitive to sm scents, bear that in mind because it has definitely the same kind of the same scent of um of the foundation i don't know how to describe it it's like perfumey i mean it doesn't bother me that won't stop me using the product if it if it does the job you know so i'm gonna brush this off Definitely like Kanafa for my around my mouth. I definitely like Kanafa. Kanafa. I hope I'm saying that right. But I like that one for around my mouth area because it doesn't make it go ashy or anything like that. And it just you know does it, it just warms it up a little bit. I can see more of a brightening effect with the Blondie one, so I'll definitely use Blondie as my kind of like setting because I really like it when it kind of highlights a little bit it's making my skin look so good like really soft and it goes so well with the the, the foundation I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back um excuse me look how flawless and matte. obviously all the products play together but you know sometimes powders don't do the job enough where I can still see like a huge dent in my eye but it's very brightening I do have to say I kind of prefer Kanafa because I'm seeing a, a white cast under my eyes and I don't think I really like that. It's a bit ashy, a bit ashy. But that just means it's not my shade. But I feel like Kanafa is just perfect because my concealer is highlighting anyway, so I don't really need a highlighting powder on top of that. Um, I mean, I could get away with that, but I still see like that cast. I'm just gonna do a quick flash test. Okay, okay. I'm seeing a little bit of ashiness on this side, but overall, oh my god, look around my mouth. I s it didn't even go ashy or flashback. Yeah, so do you know what I mean with this side? Because even when I'm looking straight, I see this cast here. So yeah, I think I definitely prefer Kanafa for me. It is now 8.54, so I'm going to be um, keeping this for the rest of the day. And then 
maybe around like three or four to I'll come back and check up on it because I want to get this video up today just to kind of put it to the test I'm gonna go out in the boiling Sun so we're gonna really put it to the test I have to do something urgently and I'm gonna be running around like a crazy woman so yeah I'm gonna see how it works um so far so good loving everything especially around my mouth area when I set around my mouth area I don't go that overboard with the powder but I feel like that really helped my, my face feels soft, matte, it doesn't look cakey, nothing. It's soft and smooth and flawless. Don't it look so nice? And see, look, I look, I'm not liking that. But so far, I'm really, really happy with it. So I'm just going to do some swatches for you guys. Um, so I'm going to start off with sugar cookie. So that's sugar cookie. Then we've got cupcake, which is a bit more on the pinky side. You can't really tell like on my skin, but it's more pinky. Then we have pound cake. This is now banana bread. I feel like this shade is good for like NC40, NC42. Or you could even go with pound cake, but this is more yellow overall. So yeah, definitely NC40, NC42. I think that would be good maybe even lighter i feel like now we're gonna have a blondie this is my shade <sighs> okay so now we have kunafa and i sorry i meant that this isn't this one's my shade blondie was the one i kind of didn't like but this is the one i really like i'm gonna put a bit more it's really nice and yellow but i feel like it's very similar to the sasha buttercup shade but I haven't tried that one yet. Okay, so now we have cinnamon bun, which is kind of like my skin colour. Almost. But this is nice if you're like NC50 around that shade. So finally we now have coffee cake, which is a really nice, deep, rich colour. And as a baking powder, I feel like this can go to the deepest of shades. Um... So something higher than NC50, like much darker. Uh, yeah, these are all the shades. I hope this is helpful. But yeah, I'm definitely Konafa, which is this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to head off now and we'll see how it looks later on. Alright guys, I am back. It's almost 4pm. 3.47. Um, so yeah, just over 6 hours that I've had this powder on. Gone out, run some errands. I've even worn sunglasses and I'm actually quite surprised and I'm gonna to let let you guys know why. So I definitely want to confirm that this side where I used uh what was it? Where I use blondie, it's definitely not for me. Like it definitely leaves a white cast, especially like around here. Kanafa is definitely the one for me. It has set my face. No smile lines apart from the tiniest bit, but this is definitely the minimal amount of smile lines I've had after like so many hours. And because the foundation is quite full coverage, I do get a little bit of smile lines, but the powder definitely it did help. And I've been sweating on my lip, the foundation's still there. Um, I haven't gone oily, like my face just looks like it's just been done like my makeup has just been put on um i'm very happy with the way it makes my under eyes look and feel i think feeling it's not as important but i like when it's like all smooth and i can see like the lines is all like blurred and smoothed out it's kind of very similar to one of my favorites the kat von d powder which is more affordable but there's only one shade and i feel like I don't know, sometimes I feel like it could be too light for a deeper complexion. I do wish I did put some on my nose because the foundation has come off a bit on my nose. So I would have loved to see if that helped the foundation stay in place. But yeah, apart from that guys, I think it worked really well. You guys know that I've bought a lot of Huda Beauty products in the past. I genuinely would buy this powder because it's really nice. The packaging's nice, the powder's nice, you get a lot of products. It's £28, but she is a higher end brand, I guess a bit higher than Kat Von D. Um you still get a lot of products and you want something that's gonna work well. And you have I think the most important thing is that you have a a, a various shades to choose from. I think that's so good in a baking powder. Like who does that? 
this is actually a baking powder but with different tones for every complexion and I just feel like that's so amazing and that just makes the price point, just kind of justifies the price point a bit more. Um, but £28 is kind of like the um, uh, Laura Mercier one and I'm sure there's tons of other powders, same setting powders that people use that are at the same price point so I'm not too bothered about the price I think it's amazing that she has so many shades the packaging's good you got that net um, yeah I think she did really good on this and to be honest I just watched the third episode of Huda Boss and it kinda is crazy how much work goes to, into it and we kinda forget how much work does actually go into products and you know it just makes you appreciate the products even more. I love this powder. Like, it's just flawless. Six hours later, it looks like this. Like, this one's a bit ashy, but it's okay. <laughs> just for the video. I'm going to show you guys a bit of a close-up. Okay, so I did put sunglasses. And I've never had sunglasses where I've sweated... And they, it hasn't like completely removed my foundation. Look, you can just slightly see it, but the foundation's still there, set in place. And I'm just, that's crazy. Like you can actually put, like set your uh, makeup with the powder here and put sunglasses and it won't come off. Well, for me at least, it hasn't come off. So like, oh my God, look at my mouth. You guys know this is the most problematic area for my face. And it's all flawless. Tarte Shape Tape is really good anyways, but no creasing, no dryness. Even though I have dry combination skin, there's no dryness at all, no flakiness. Um, especially around my mouth, there's no flakiness. So I'm really, really pleased, guys. I think you all know me by now. I wouldn't recommend something to you guys if it, gen if it genuinely isn't like really good. You can watch some of my other previous tutorials I've mentioned when, and you can see when something doesn't work, you can see it. And this is just flawless. So it's not like, you know, what I'm saying doesn't go what, you, what you're seeing. Um, but yeah, just to clarify that, I might give away some of the other shades. It have They have only been sh um, swatched. So um, yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I might do it on Instagram. Oh, so before I go, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one goes to Sukanya Ready. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and comment in the comments below when you have done so or comment anything really. It can be anyone. But definitely let me know what you guys think if you are going to purchase it and have already tried it. I want to know what you guys think. But for me, it's just is up there with my favourite, favourite powders. Like, Thank you so much for watching my loves and I will see you in my next one. Bye!